Hi, Tychation here, and I'm going to show you how to set up myversioncontrol.com for SVN hosting. But uh, first, I'd like you to see the site svnhostingcomparison.com. It's a great cross reference of many SVN hosts that are available on the internet. Uh, I used my version control first, so that's what I'm going to start with here. Uh, here's my version controls homepage. Just click on this uh, green box, try it all for free, and you can quickly sign up for a new account. And after you do so, your account name will be the start of your website that you'll want to go to to manage your SVN. And in my case, I use demo.myversioncontrol.com. And I'll log in with a username that I set up here. And two things I'd like to show you. One is user management, and the other is project management. Uh, for users, I'd I'll start off by uh, adding a new user to the SVN by clicking New User. First click on User Management, then New User, and type in the username. And then click Create New User. And if you'd like this user to be an administrator, click on the user's avatar, and then check the administrator box. And it's as easy as that. We now have a new user on the SVN. So uh, to create a new project, I'll click on Projects over here on the left, and then click the Create a New Project button. And I'll call it My New Project. I've been clearing this checkbox for Create Default Folder Structure because I'm not using this for programming at all, and uh, an empty directory is just fine for me. So after that, click on Create Repository, and the repository is ready. Now I'll click on Close. And here's my new project. You can see SVN revision level is zero. And I'll click on that project. And then over here, authorize users and groups. I'll click on manage off to the right. And here's where I can add a new user. I'll click on add user or group. And you can see available resources. I have two users. I'll just go ahead and add myself, demo user. And then click on add and done. And now you can see demo user is part of this project. And this is a little bit tricky. I need to configure it so that demo user can both update and commit to the SVN at this time. And to do that, I'll click on demo user's avatar and then just click check this uh, box next to commit here. And that's it. In yellow, you can see the permissions were granted. There's no need to click OK or anything. So it's just a matter of clicking on the avatar and then being sure this check mark is selected. And then if I close this, you can see there's a green and a red dot here next to demo user, and that's just indicating the permission level of this user. Hopefully this will be enough to help you get an SVN up and running. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. My address is techation at gmail.com. Talk to you next time.